so here we come again with yet another very very important proof of hsc from the chapter vectors the proof is angle bisectors of a triangle are congruent so first of all we need to understand something from hsc what was that angle bisector theorem or we used to call it angle bisector property angle bisector theorem or angle bisector property let us understand that first we have a triangle a b c and if ad is the angle bisector then we can say ac upon ab is equal to cd upon db so simple we have done this many number of times similarly if we have be as an angle bisector we can say ba upon bc is equal to ae upon ec i think you must have recollected what is an angle bisector theorem or angle bisector property now what we are going to do is we are, we are going to draw one more triangle and understand how to prove them congruent so this is our triangle abc we need to prove that all the angle bisectors are congruent so generally a triangle will have three angle bisectors let me uh, take uh, the angle bisector ad first ad as an angle bisector before that i need to uh, name the length so let length bc be x let length ac be y and let length ab be z so we have length bc x length ac y and length ab as z okay now what we will do is we will draw angle bisector ad so we have this angle bisector ad by angle bisector property i can say that ac upon ab is equal to cd upon db but what is ac ac is nothing but y and what is ab ab is nothing but z so i can say that cd upon db is equal to y upon z so cd is y and db is z it means d internally divides internally divides cb in the ratio y is to z so we can apply section formula for internal division section formula for internal division so how do we apply that section formula for internal division uh, let us see if i apply section formula for internal division for the point d what can i say i can say d bar is equal to y times b bar plus z times c bar upon y plus z so therefore d bar into y plus z will be equal to y b bar plus z c bar y b bar plus z c bar similarly we can prove for the other angle bisector so let us quickly get on with it this is my triangle a b c and this is my angle bisector be let us say so what will i have by angle bisector property i will have ab upon bc is equal to ae upon ec so what will be ae upon ec so we already know that ab is ab is z and bc bc is x so we can say ab is z and bc is x so point e divides ac internally in the ratio z is to x so let, let me understand this like this ae z and ec x so what will be e bar e bar will be simply x a bar plus z c bar upon x plus z by section formula for internal division therefore 
e bar into x plus z is nothing but x a bar plus z c bar. Now this is very important for us. Even this was very very important for us. Let us write down the same for the last angle bisector. So let us add a page. I will draw the triangle once again so that everything is neat and clear. A B C. Let me draw angle bisector C F. Now, as C F is the angle bisector of triangle A B C, I can say that by angle bisector property, A C. upon cb is equal to af upon fb therefore af upon fb is equal to now we have ac ac was nothing but y and bc bc was nothing but x therefore f divides ab internally in what ratio in ratio y is to x so let me write down what is af af is y and what is fb it is x so by section formula for internal division we can say that f bar is equal to yb bar plus xa bar upon x plus y therefore f bar into x plus y is nothing but equal to yb bar plus xa bar this is for the third angle bisector and which is very very important let us go back and check the other two ones y plus z d bar is equal to yb bar plus z c bar so let us add a page and write down all of the things together so y plus z d bar is equal to yb bar plus z c bar so let me write down that y plus z d bar is equal to yb bar plus z c bar then the next one was x plus z x plus z e bar is equal to x a bar plus z c bar and the last one is nothing but x plus y f bar x plus y f bar is equal to x a bar plus y b bar now we are going to apply one little trick and that trick is we have ad as the angle bisector over here be as the angle bisector and over here cf as the angle bisector so here a is missing so i will add y plus z d bar plus x a bar on both sides so check out the right hand side i need to write down x a bar plus y b bar plus z c bar now check out for the second one y b bar is missing so what i'll do is x plus z e bar plus y b bar is equal to add y b bar over here you will get x a bar plus y b bar plus z c bar again for the third angle bisector cf we have z c bar missing so we'll write down x plus y f bar plus z c bar and the right hand side check x a bar plus y b bar plus z c bar now we will divide all sides by x plus y plus z so what will the first equation be so let us add a page y plus z d bar plus x a bar upon x plus y plus z is equal to x a bar plus y b bar plus z c bar upon x plus y plus z now see this y plus z is present over here which can be treated as m and x is present over here which can be treated as n so this is m times d bar plus n times a bar upon m plus n so that is section formula for internal division so these are the coordinates of a point which divides ad internally ad internally in y plus z is to x similarly if we check it out for the other median it will be x plus z e bar plus y b bar x plus z e bar plus y b bar let me write down that x plus z e bar plus y b bar this is our median b e bar 
so we will divide by x plus y plus z x plus y plus z so you can see again there is this m and n and m and n it means this is the point which divides b e internally it divides b e internally in the ratio what is the ratio x plus z is to y similarly for the third one let us add a page first similarly for the third one you can say x plus y x plus y f bar plus z c bar is equal to x a bar plus y b bar plus z c bar divide both sides by x plus y plus z x plus y plus z so you can see again similarly this is a point which divides cf median median cf internally internally in the ratio what is the ratio you can see x plus y is to z z but from equation 1 2 and 3 let me call this equation 1 let me call this equation 2 and let us go on the other page let me call this as equation 3 from equation 1 2 and 3 you see that the point which divides ad internally in the ratio is y plus z is to x is nothing but x a bar plus y b bar plus z c bar upon x plus y plus z and similarly the point which divides b is nothing but the same and similarly for cf is also the same it means all these points are nothing but the same you can see uh, that this point lies on ad even this point lies on ve and the same point lies on cf also it means h bar equal to x a bar plus y b bar plus z c bar upon x plus y plus z lies on all the medians ad b e and c f what does it mean it means that a d b e and c f have a common point that common point is nothing but in the center the point of intersection the point of intersection of angle bisectors of angle bisectors of a triangle theek hai now therefore h bar is equal to x a bar plus y b bar plus z c bar upon x plus y plus z and this is also called as the point of concurrence therefore angle bisectors have a point common hence they are concurrent angle bisectors are concurrent and this way we have proved that the angle bisector of a triangle are always concurrent thank you for watching the video guys